Yo. Yo. How's everybody doing? Yes, sir, Naru. Is me playing piano? How's everybody doing? Cloudy Tuesday here. I'm gonna do VOD reviews. Reminder to all the silver and lower players tomorrow is Wednesday, which is experimental low elo coaching day. Oh, wait, that's you playing piano? It is. That's me. Buzzer tomorrow? Mm, maybe. I'm still theory crafting, but it is going to be goofy like that. Deathmatch to you. My deathmatch stats probably look really funny. Oh my god. <laughs> I see those little corner wiggles, I'm gone. Chat, you remember how we picked five duelists in Premiere and we won? What if I told you we did it again? We faced immortal threes. Did you win again? We did. of us? Yes, it is. Ooh. A reason why you're playing DM with Sam right now? Yeah, we're chilling. I'm just waking up for the stream. You gotta keep in mind, I was asleep. I just showered. Oh my god. <laughs> I just took a shower. Got one. Huh. 
Music. Music. Is Dope I posting up the game? Yeah, yeah, Dope I will be posting them up. Deleted. Don't worry. Zero T, thank you for the prime. And Aaron T, thank you for the prime. Ooh, I'm surrounded. Yo, honey bun, thank you for the prime. Pearl isn't even fair, especially with the five bullets meta. Well, we're picking it on bind too. We're basically just picking five duelists every game in Premier. At least until we lose with it. Because, uh, I don't know, every game we win with it kind of really helps me <laughs> make my point that you don't need to be filling in solo queue to cover a gap in your team composition. Like, if a coordinated Immortal 3 team can't beat our 5 duelist comp with no strats, then why the hell do you need smokes in your Platinum 3 game? Rack got to Hello Kitty. I take it back to the best piece of content I've seen all week. Right? Isn't it so entertaining? <laughs> because we aren't immortals, such as. Yeah. I mean, some people will find some way to cope it. be clear i'm not saying five duelists is good i'm saying team comp doesn't matter what matters more is if you're on an agent you're comfortable with team comp only matters at the highest level of play until you're at that level it doesn't matter and that level's not even like a portal three not warmed up aim is 100x better than my peak game not gonna lie really i'm at like the i'm 21 and 27 in a dm the 
Allies are down. There's this guy. With no meme and no cap, are people at my rank not so bad at using their agent but a strong team comp and strong in your individual skill? No. Bro. Oh. Look at their team comp. Look at our team comp. Tell me that there's a world where uh, w there's not a single advantage our team comp has. These guys are all way higher level than you at the game way higher level it doesn't matter we'll plot this game same thing same thing it's not even a sample size of one anymore uh, we're picking five duelist every game in premiere now it's really funny <laughs> we're in the highest division this is the highest premiere division Who shoot head first wins not even dude not even we're out playing them look at the scoreboard if you think it's who shoots first wins look these two are on top i was getting wiped by these guys this guy is way better than me the shooting first is not the whole game You can still coordinate and strategize with pretty much any team comp. Just use a neon wall to block vision. Phoenix wall. We have flash. We got recon with a boom bot. We got a full comp. We got jet smokes. That's enough. You can do everything a normal team can do. Just a lot worse. We're gonna start the raffle. If you have a VOD, you'd like to get it reviewed, head over to the Discord at discord.gg slash woohoojin and join the raffles and predictions channel and click the enter raffle button. You'll only be able to enter the enter raffle button if you've submitted a VOD that followed all of the rules in the VOD review rules and requirements channel into the VOD submissions channel and it's been reviewed and approved by my team. It looks like nearly every VOD from yesterday got rejected. What are you guys doing, huh? Darth Bevel. Please read the rules before submitting again. Submitted a VOD that didn't follow any of them from the looks of it. Ooh. This individual didn't follow the formatting requirements in their submission, so it was too annoying to review. This person didn't play consistently enough, which is in the rules. Why are you guys submitting your VODs? Read the rules. You're making it annoying for my moderation team. Read the rules. Look at this. This is against the rules. Stop. Read them. And then submit. It's crazy how many people have odds they rejected. Dude, it's like 90%. How flexible is the consistency rule? I'm just, I'm sorry, but it's questions like that that make my moderation team want to rip their hair out. The rules are the rules. That's that.
they do these reviews for free they're volunteers Oh, true, we got to play ranked all. Hey, star. Enemy spotted B. Still waiting. I'm going to check MLG clips too. Contract with one enemy remaining. Clutch. Easy. Nice. Insta craft spraying, <laughs> but otherwise not bad. I guess platinum. Yeah. Whoa, that's so tight. Right. Yeah. <laughs> There's a good adjustment. Platinum, but headshots, everything else sucks. So I guess platinum. Hey. We got our two stars. <laughs> One enemy remaining. He's learning, chat. He's learning. Let him learn. 30 seconds left. Good thing I was this guy ADS is every fight. Oh my god, he's skin shopping. Switching side. And with that clip, don't forget tomorrow morning is low yellow experimental coaching. There are requirements to this. You have to be iron to silver, but you have to be able to play the game at stable 40 FPS or higher while screen sharing you're also going to need to have at least five out of seven days a week of ranked on your tracker match history and then you could be either region yes eu and a it doesn't matter but i will be checking looks like me not gonna lie hey it's all good Oop, I don't play enough. Yup. Boom, boom. End raffle. Damn, eight entries. Oh my God, Nova V Zero, thank you for the prime. Clarander Gross, thank you for the prime. Wolves, Arrow. Yeah, the bar is pretty low rank, guys. You can play the game and you're trying to get out of low elo. It's basically the bar. Immortal 3 is objectively the hardest rank to climb out of because you need to gain like 400 RR to do it. And you also are playing against the best players. It will say, you got to post the link to your approved VOD right here in chat. Not like the YouTube link, but like the Discord post. Gotcha. <laughs> How long do you have to be playing five, seven days a week to enter? It'll be up to me. I'll look at your tracker. If I think that you're only low elo because you've played three games this act, you know, then I'm going to go next. But if you've played like 50 games this act and you've been playing for the past three weeks, then we're in. And if you're somewhere in between that, I'm going to use my own judgment. Okay. Phoenix Pearl. A good agent on a good map. Wolves arrow hashtag. At a one. I definitely have not reviewed you. I do not remember your username.
Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. What if I like Viper and Sova? Some master prefer Viper and some Sova. What should I do? Just don't get coaching from me, bro. Do what you enjoy. I enjoy coaching people who are super committed to the sole purpose of ranking up. You would enjoy playing two different roles. We're not compatible. That's fine. Neither of us is wrong. Hey, how's it going, guys? What's good? Frenzy Enjoyer! Uh, let's do a bleach, bleach split. Um, chamber, you want to walk? I'm going to start timing out people who are asking for clarification on the rules. If you think something in the rules is genuinely not clear, make a mod mail ticket. That's the point. The point of the rules is so we don't have to answer questions like that. They're okay. very clear, though. Like, if you go look through them, you're not. There's no area for confusion. Um, okay, <laughs> is low low spansel coaching a regular thing? Yes. Let me get this pre-down count. Either, either ah, okay. Or sky, either, either one. Okay. The uh, chamber got it. It's all good. All right, cool. Um, okay, yeah. Viper, throw that wall, and then uh, chamber. I'm gonna throw that first flash. Uh, I'll probably wait a second, and then throw that first flash uh, through those doors. Uh, oh, what? I got mopped. Okay. What? Um. I got mopped. So this advice applies to you, Wolf Zero, because you're getting into higher yellow. I, I'd say like gold and below. This is a good flash, but because Michael Jordan explicitly made contact with us. We have to give Michael Jordan at least a, an ounce of respect here. And keep in mind, a flash is only good when the enemy is in a flash zone. A flash is only good when the enemy is in a flash zone. Or, of course, if you, they have an operator and you really need to push them off an angle. Um, but in this case, your flash would only be good if the enemy jet were in, like, this box. If the enemy jet's in this box... Great flash, because she's dead. You've killed her. She can't do anything. However, the enemy jet has made contact with you and dashed away somewhere. It's far more likely now that she is playing in this box or this box. And you'll note that if a Phoenix flash were to come in here, she's just going to go this way or this way and then fight you again. Flash doesn't do much. Um, and I prefer if you tried to really hunt for situations where they were in this box before you flash. Like you catch them lacking type thing. I'm not the biggest fan of this flash right here. Like that. Notice here, if we still had flash and they backed up. This is a huge flash zone. There's not much cover back here. You see? Okay, cool. Whoa. Viper's on site. I'm gonna flash for screens. Nothing screens. Do you have a flash, Kev? No. Free loading. Isn't that good? Target down. Flash down. One more, one more. Spike down, B. One enemy remaining. Could be Spike Or heal him with your hot hand. Okay, this is crazy. What are we doing? Okay, so we're we're halls. Cozy. And the most important thing in Valorant is comfort. If you want to feel consistent at the game. So right now you're standing here. Makes sense. You are exposed to this angle. Okay, makes sense. I would probably come halls, like here. Hold this angle with my frenzy. It's a great fight. And then my KO, who's backing up long, 
is like he's information for me i don't see him as being that useful he's like two hp so if they flank i'll know because ko will die and otherwise i don't have to worry about them coming out this way because ko will see them so they're going to make contact with me nice and close against my frenzy and conveniently you're in a great spot because the bomb is planted here and you can come out from either direction to fight the diffuser Um, so we don't want to be backing up because with your frenzy, let's say you come over here and now where are you looking? Are you the one looking here or are you the one looking flank? Not sure. We got to coordinate that now, which is annoying. Let's pretend you're the one looking flank back here. And these open fights are a lot worse for our frenzy. So I'm not the biggest fan. And of course, also, while you cross long, you're exposing yourself to a lot of danger. It's not bad for long. Play off me, play off me. Shutting them down. One suppressed. Noise! Save the two ones! Oh, there they are. Evan, go. Target sighted me. He's dead, Last he's player standing. Nice. Okay, I don't like I don't like this conversion. Nice conversion, but this dude should be wider, um, because of his HP and because also you shouldn't be fighting yet. There's a bomb. You've got hot hands. This is like the only time where stalling is okay. You know how I don't like this word. If you're a tier three, you probably know I don't like this word. However, I love this word when you are on attack and you've planted the bomb. This is the exception. He's next Last well. player standing. So I'd want you to play this slower. Uh, let's do it on, uh, That's arc. a good round, though. Let's look for patterns. Knife deployed. Uh. Knife Why don't you pull your knife out? Where is that? Why don't you like stalling? It doesn't do anything most of the time. Most of the time, uh, lower rated players stall when it doesn't matter. Like you'll have three A, the enemy team will be pushing A and you'll stall them. It's like, what? Why'd you do that? And you'll be like, because I don't want them to push. Nice try, nice try. Fortunate. Honestly, that Reina hit a crazy shot on us. Like, I think even if we had gone out, we're dead. People talking this Discord, but watch on Twitch? Yes. Ooh. You did your job. You did your job. You get a one for one and you got a spec there. I'm not mad about that one. Okay. Hear me out. Wolves arrow, hear me out. Let's go light shields. Let's go light shields. You can barely afford heavy armor. And if you had light shields right now, you're 2,900 next round. Oh man, my numb lock is not on, I'm sorry. Your 2,900 next round would turn into 3,300 and you can buy again. Here is the rule of thumb for light shields, okay? Enemy full buy? Then, and you're like under 6,000 credits? Just go light shields. Um, in other scenarios, it's more subjective. Like, it's not as cut and dry. Like, if the enemy's on a half buy and you're poor, some people will go light shields 
and think it's fine, like Sentinels. Uh, but others will go heavy shields. But against full buys, it's it's looking very cut and dry. That light shields is just like free money. Is this world irrespective of rank? Yeah, light shields is kind of just free money against full buys. I watch your body. What if enemy uses phantom? It really doesn't matter that Come much. On, let's go. Watch your eyes. You got to keep in mind, is it a downside that if they use phantom and you get one tapped? Yes. But there's also the upside that you save 600 credits. And I am a very firm believer that that upside is worth a lot more. Where's the 6,000 come from? Analysis of pro teams who do the light shield strategy. Okay, okay. Got yours, got yours. We count those. Ooh. Okay, freeze. we've got a problem and his name is positioning i want you to i want you to take some time right now will zero and tell me where you, what you're doing and where you're going if you have unlimited time to think like right now how are you playing this post plant right now you know viper is flowers that's all we know Okay, I'll wait. He's thinking chat. Definitely walking Link and Flowers. Either going, hey man. Okay, Secret Sky. Okay. So you just listed three things. You said I'm definitely walking Secret or Flowers or going A main with KO. Isn't that three things? What are you doing? you're walling Lincoln flowers doing aim with KO or secret with sky I see I see you're gonna wall this and then go here with sky or back with KO okay let's see what you do I'm gonna dog fire Time to hunt. Flashing, I flash up. On our, flashing cloud. Flash! One hour, one hour. And there it is. This is uh, your most valuable cloud. ability right here. This is your most valuable ability. And you know what my brain saw right before you click this flash? I see Reyna's coming art. And you know what that means? It means she's going to have to walk into this zone to come out onto site. And if I happen to be default when she does that and flash around the corner, I get a free kill. Free kill. You're wasting your flash. This doesn't do anything. She's got cover. Flash. One hour, one hour. One enemy oh my remaining. God, you're better. They do take it back. Okay, so to answer the question from earlier, chat, I'm going I'm going art personally. One fire. I'm gonna dog fire. I would come here, I'd flash the corner, because if they're out there, they're dead to me, and I get full control. And then I use my Molly to stop the diffuse. And play across the thing, man. Eight, we just have KO through that knife so that Rana can't. Uh, I can buy someone. I'm gonna be back. Yeah, yeah, buy me, buy me, buy me. You're gonna max out. 
my silver brain was going art too i'm just like you uh, let's, let's go let's go little hooch is in the chat Finished. you see why ko's flash sucks not like the ability itself his the ability is great but do you see why the flash he just used is ineffective because you just tucked into cover okay i want you to remember that feeling because you need to recognize this when you're flashing people like who's that killing who's that killing nobody so don't throw it i'm gonna dog that Okay, so dog clears all of connector and we're looking to take a site. We got a pick. Oh my goodness, my bad. I'm actually probably Nectar going star. connector here. Like at this point, we've got a team is taking a they don't need me. And flash zone. I'd just be right here. And I would look to get a kill with my flash on this guy. Phoenix flash is like the ability. It's an undodgeable flash. No one's safe. In my way. There they are. You hear them? Can we check in? You can hear them connect there. Get out of my way. Whoa. Okay. Never mind. Dead. Nice. So I would have killed that guy without a fair fight. Out here. Here. Jaden two forty, yeah, thank you for the prime. Actually, I saw a clip of tens dodging a phoenix flash awesome. yesterday. Woo, you you want to play? <laughs> Let's play. Okay, this is the one exception. I, I want to make it very clear because a lot of people might misuse the flash or misunderstand me. Um, Flashing to take an operator off of their post is also incredibly valid. So if their op is, for example, maybe posted here, yeah, they've got close cover, but we need to flash that guy. No, really yeah, it's not good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just get off, just get off this. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try and dodge him so I can He's stunned. Oh, we should have scaled on that guy. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be getting too... That we should have scaled on that guy. We hit the concuss. Yep, he was right. stuck screens. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. We win. All right, let's go 2A main, 3 art. Did it finally diamond? Uh, Yo! Congratulations, uh, Matthew. Your, your nice art. Uh, we want to swing the Reyna that uh, fights in art quick because she, uh, while well, she can't dismiss, so, so I can get uh, W I G L Viper and Chamber with me to art. W I G L. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop my ult. Shut them down. Play off the top. Reyna special me. Reyna special. Seek some outs. Watch your eyes. Hawk out. I can't use that. The hunt begins. Look at that. Reloading. Look, your KO's a genius. No, Tuck. Oh. Look, your KO's got the right idea. So, this is very common um, in ranks below higher mortal. Everyone's at your rank for different reasons. So, people are very good at different things. So this KO is worse than us at pre-ground calming. They're worse than us than many things. However, his flash usage appears to be above our level. Like in that post plan, he's playing a main for his flash zone. Here, he's trying to play this flash zone. We can learn from this KO. And you'll notice when he doesn't get him, look where the KO is going. He's going back. What are you doing? First of all, crosshair discipline, bad. Second of all, you see this jet? You want to unswing. This jet literally cannot approach you. She cannot approach this. If we're playing in like Radiant or Pro, if you on swing here, you know what this jet has to do? 
she quite literally has to rotate through CT. She doesn't have another option. If she comes mid, you get full info on that. And if she comes connector, she's dead. She can't come connector. What rank is Reyna unviable? None of them. And I've never said that she's unviable. One connector. Just Chambers on. I'm gonna dog. Look, look, Kale's trying to do it. One enemy remaining. Flowers, flowers, flowers. What if she plays anti flash? <laughs> You're killing her it's nine times out of ten. If she's having the 180 to take a 50 against you. Chill, chill, chill. I'm low. Coming secret, coming secret. Just hold with me. Behind you, behind you, Evan. I got you. It's all about the number of. Let's go! fights we get where they're full flash oh, we okay. haven't gotten any yet do you see that mm -hmm. Time to hunt. Connectors, oh, spike, connectors down. spike down B. Try and get the bomb. hold him off ko i'm gonna go try to flank him okay okay there's a lot on the bomb. There's like three on the bomb right now. Last player standing. Tough. Uh, I'm going to assign you some crosshair discipline homework. If you recall the beeping drill I did, Wolf Zero, right now, you're not allowed to have your crosshair here. It has to be here or here. I don't care which. Both are good. Both are good. But this, this is no good. This is sad. We can't have our crosshair here. Blood. Even while you're thinking or looking at your mini map. The bomb. There's like three on the bomb right now. Last. This uh, knife right up. There's a fight beside here. We can. One's close. One's close. Out. Nice. Are we ulting out? Come on, let's go. Time to hunt. Come on, let's go. Okay, you're either clearing this or you're not, Wolves Arrow. And now, it makes sense if you decide not to clear it. But if you decide not to clear it, your crosshair should be over here right now. But evidently, you have decided to clear it. But look how you clear it. I don't even think you cleared it. Going up. Oh, this KO knows how to flash. Molly him. Molly him. Tough. Spike. This doesn't do anything. Down A. You see? Last player standing. Now those guys were flashable. Look how far up they are. Walk close to this wall and flash and they're in trouble. Last player standing. Damn, look at that damage. This is actually crazy. We're going to pull up a Pro Phoenix VOD after this half. Oops, I muted the VOD. I don't think we've gotten a single flash kill. We can't count that. We literally cannot count that. We don't commit here. I'm going out. I'm going out. Long. I'm going long. Get behind. Get behind. She can push. Pull cat. We were both full blind in that one. I give us equal odds. One enemy remaining. Look! Look when Ko's flashing. Look where your sky is on the mini map. Notice she doesn't have easy close cover. And look where the Ko flash just landed. If you weren't here right now. These two are in a lot of trouble. But because you're here, you put a lot of pressure on this KO and you get the trade. You see, this guy probably would have killed both of them. Enemy remaining. Reloading. Oh, this is lit. Watch your eyes. Why are we running out? Oh my. Watch your eyes. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. 
no, no. Wait, we flashed first. We got Molly. Hear me out. You Molly the bomb first and then you just wait. And then they tap again and then you jump spot. And then they tap again and they're on it and then you flash. Hey. We're going too yes. fast. You're going too fast. You're burning so many. Last. We could throw this. Oh my God, we threw it. That's your fault. You could have stalled that way Let's better. Way, 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 way better. Phoenix. Pearl. Prove on. Yeah, give me some SOM. I'm down. I'm gonna wall up and I'm gonna wall down quick. I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna. Oh, uh, right here. I'm gonna shock that so you can walk. Hey. Let's see how long it takes to find a flash. That results in a kill. Yep. I'm a flash. It took about 36 seconds. Yo! J Bolt, think of the five gifted. Do you see where you're deficient, Wolf Zero? Now you could argue, oh, but Sam's a pro. Well, yeah, but his enemies are also high radiant. Let's keep watching. Broke a trip. Notice he did not flash into art. You see? He just walked in. Wait, what? You broke a trip of your ball. Hey. Cam here. Who am I Cam's right above it. Yeah, it's hey. up here. But he might flash out of this smoke. He's gonna be a trip here. Because there's Spy off angles away. here. <laughs> Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? You're advertising your location too early, and so your enemies are able to avoid your flash. We are... Second round, he's gotten two. He might get a third here. <laughs> he's gotten three in two rounds. Look, you know why he got this one? Because he flashed left, so it popped here which would blind this entire lane here. You see, this entire zone is flashed. If they're anywhere like in this area, they're dead. They're dead. This is Phoenix's strongest ability. If you're not getting kills with it, you're doing something wrong. Okay. Right there. Let's keep watching. No kill on that one. Dang, he used his flashes to stall. Bombs going down and he's healing. No flash kills that round. I think sometimes he sleeps over. Oh my god. He's crazy. He's crazy. You see what he just flashed? Look again. Every flash, there's somebody dead if they're playing a certain angle. Do you see? If they were playing screens here, you see how they're dead? You need to ask yourself who's dead if I flash and it lands here. Who's dead there? Paul's player. Although, honestly, that flash isn't the best. That Hall's flash is not the best Sorry, from Song. Oh my god, I turned on closed captions. Close with the judge. There's a Vandal down mid. It's two. Two Link and then one... Ooh. Look where Neon was and look what... You see the moment he sees Neon is here. 
which is out in the open in a flash zone. We are already pulling our flash out, looking to scale her. But you see Radiant Neon throws a stun immediately as she gets tagged. It's two. Two link. And Radiant Fade throws a suck immediately one, as this happens. Because they understand the weakness that they've just exposed themselves to. In your elo, you're just flashing and killing that guy. Well, Sam's actually different. Okay. You've seen enough. You've seen enough to see the huge difference in attack. Let's see if we get any on defense. It's a bit easier on defense. One mid. Long. I almost I'm so certain you're gonna flash too early actually. Oh, no, no, no. Flash. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> look, look at the meme map. Okay. Oh, right. oh, no, no. Flash. So the only way you're blinding Viper right now is if she's full W keying first as Viper. It's not gonna happen. Flash! Reloading. The only Back. thing your brain needs to be thinking about is how likely they might have killed him with flash. I'm giving up. One enemy. Next. One enemy remaining. Better. They're pushing up. There's gonna be. Spike planted. Okay. Last player this is interesting because to me this is like a potential flash because i'm thinking how i'm holding blank on b long and a lot of the time people will hold off angle here they'll hold here because they'll use the pillar as cover from site and these guys are super flashable You even pulled it out! Oh! You even pulled it out! You wanted to flash but thought you'd hit Viper? I don't care about Viper. Tell her to look away. Say, yo, Viper, I'm flashing. Look away. And then if she gets blind, I told you. Come on, let's go! I watch your body. Oh, this is a flash. This is a flash. This is a flash. What? Why are you just peeking it? Let's go! I watch your body. Look, you hear them. You hear them scaling. Phoenix shoot 3k oh I'm the best what? got mine I think one has out Jetty has one shot the chamber's old flash Yes! The peak! Flash all the fuck. Jetty is one shot. The chamber's old. Careful, careful. Flash all the fuck. I win again. Well, we blinded him, chat. We blinded him. Flashing out, hold on. Look out! You get a single flash kill this whole game. You're playing the strongest flasher in the game, man. I'm not even watching. I know you got a 2K. Puff, you've you've lost your Woohoo Jim watches your 2K privileges until further notice. The only thing I'm looking at is your HUD and the flash icon. Watch your eyes. Good flash. One enemy no, remaining. No. Miles ready. That flash was good, but you didn't get a kill from it. Unlucky. Sounds like A May. Mid. A. Smoke. You get up close. Look. Look, look, look. It's the pattern. It's the pattern. It's the pattern. Um, pattern recognition is 
the neurons in my brain are firing on all cylinders right now. Look, 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 look. Thank you very much. Let's stack A site, please. And let's play very passively on A. I want give me Phoenix back here and Jet and Brim. All backside hiding. I want a chamber trip. Right out A main. That chamber trip triggers Phoenix is flashing out and everyone's fighting there. When that chamber trip triggers Phoenix is flashing out and everyone's fighting there. Do you see the pattern? You put a trip around the corner because it catches them in this open space where then they're super flashable. What? Look at look at your mini map in your VOD. Look, look, look. It's so good. It's already there. It's already there. It's perfect. I flash out. <laughs> Why did you flash already? You piece! What are you doing? <laughs> you're, you're not blinding anyone with that! You had it! You had it! Not up Reloading. They're leaving. Oh. Yeah, they found the phone. Bro, what are you doing? Skycap has cleared all of this. Bro, Skycap has cleared all of this. Spike planted. Come on, one kill. One kill. Come on. One flash kill. Come on. Come on. It's the most impressive Phoenix VOD I've ever seen. I've never seen that. This is the easiest. 500 RR you're about to gain in your life, Wolves Arrow. You've got the simplest problem. Uh, focus points, general. Focus point one, crosshair discipline. Keep crosshair on a corner at all times. Like, literally. I mean, pre-round. I mean, while looking... At minimap, etc. Okay. Okay. Except while shooting at the enemy. Your crosshair hovers way too much. You got to develop crosshair discipline. And then you need to... Your number one goal in positioning needs to be... How do I catch them in open space with my flash, resulting in a free kill? I expect to see many strong flashes in your next bot. Important. This doesn't necessarily mean that you get kills. Sometimes you do get unlucky. Kills are not the key indicator for whether or not a flash is good. Thank you for the VOD Wolves arrow. We're going to run the raffle for another VOD. If you have a VOD you'd like to get it reviewed, head over to the Discord at discord.gg slash woohoochin and go to the Raffles and Predictions channel and click the Enter Raffle button. In order to enter the raffle, you need an approved VOD. To get an approved VOD, you have to read all the rules, all of them, in the VOD Review Rules and Requirements channel. Then you submit your VOD in the VOD Submission channel. And you really do need to read the rules. Every single VOD submitted yesterday got rejected. These guys aren't reading the rules. Read them. They're, they're tough. They're not as they're not so simple. You can't just be like, ah, oh, my VOD probably follows the rules. No, it doesn't. I guarantee if you haven't read the rules, your VOD doesn't follow them. So go read the rules. 
It's free. Tell them about Twitch Prime. Who'd say less? Did you know that if you have an Amazon Prime subscription, then once a month you get to subscribe to a Twitch streamer at no cost? It's true. All you have to do is click the subscribe button and check if there's a little checkbox that says use free Amazon Prime subscription. I'd appreciate if everyone watching right now could close the stream out of full screen mode and check real quick if they have an Amazon Prime subscription available. Desert 777, thank you for the Prime. Sophia, thank you for the Prime. Apoc Live, thank you for the Prime. River Divider, thank you for the Prime. The Carden, thank you for the four month Prime. Just subscribe to realize that Woohoo didn't use his Discord chat to talk. Yes, sir. That's how the, those rank icons you see in all the YouTube videos in the chat on the left there. Those are everyone's real ranks. How cool is that? Come on, that's cool. Don't lie, that's cool. Furbolt, thank you for the prime. What if I play my own ad break? Ad break, guys. Did you know only 420% of the people who watch my videos could actually receive free VOD reviews? Really? It's true. Even me. Absolutely. Wow. I'm going to join the Discord to learn how. Then show up to a VOD review stream to get some of that potassium wisdom. No scope right to my brain. And that's not all. I'm also offering free Valorant gift cards to anyone who makes successful improvement based on my coaching. Made possible by the support of the Generous Knowers Guild on Discord. So what are you waiting for? Hit us up and enjoy the video. Yo, newest gamer, thank you for the Prime. Trelly, thank you for the Prime. Prismatic, 912, thank you for the Prime. Slow Madness, thank you for the Prime. How much you pay the Fiverr guy? I don't know. My meme editor paid him and business expense to me. How much you pay that guy? I genuinely don't know. I pay my meme editor and then they they just bill me, man. He's not online. We can't ask him. I, I pay my meme editor a lot. His memes are really funny. I literally just told him I want a few intros that are just funny and advertise the Discord. M. Gallo, thank you for the tier three. J. Bill or J. Bold, thank you for the one gifted. Let's see. For the two meme intros that we've made so far, and he's making more, I've paid him $600. And that includes the cost of the Fiverr guy. So, beats me. Hey, he's a personal friend of mine. Like, I grew up with him. We used to play chess together in the library at our town. Chess club. Every Wednesday. Which town was it? I'll see you in an hour. That's weird. That's weird. Yeah, I mean, he's got a full-time job. He's a working class adult. He's just a really... He's a memer at heart, just like me. Um, we, we used to make meme videos like this together all the time. It's like a crazy dream come true that not only is he making them now, but they're being seen by thousands of people and we're making money off of them. It's incredible. Who's a better chess player? I don't remember. We Half the time we didn't even play chess. We just like threw the pieces around, dude. Where we go on the library computers and we play like Dragon Fable.
What are y'all pausing for? I'm giving people time to enter the raffle. Taking a break. Admin, thank you for tier three. Yes, we did, Royal Red Hair. Give people a lot of time. Yeah. What's the rush, huh? You you watched three too many TikToks yesterday and your your brain is now incapable of operating under the conditions of boredom. Just relax. It's coming. I will flame your attention span. You need to fix it. Uh, I know you said please don't ban me, but that's the most. Re what What are you trying to do here? You literally are just trying to talk about a completely unrelated topic and a political one at that. Get out of here. Go to Reddit. How do I have such a short attention span? I don't even have Instagram or TikTok installed. Well, that's not like the only cause of it. Our society today offers you too many methods of avoiding boredom. And if you fall prey for any of them, which you're very likely to because your brain is designed that way to get dopamine. Then you're in trouble. Let's just take a moment, chat. You know what I do after stream before I go live for ranked? I walk to the cafe. I get a latte. I walk back. Sometimes I just sit on my balcony, man. And I just sip my latte. I don't even do anything. Isn't that weird? I just look. Just look at stuff. It's boring. And that's that's important. Skill pill. Congratulations on winning the raffle. Please post the link to your approved VOD. bump some music no no i don't give my brain anything man it's just my thoughts if you can't just sit with your thoughts for 30 minutes you should build up to it i'm not gonna lie it's really important skill pill 13 5781 yo dayton thank you so much for the tier three Please, Wahoochin, you are my last chance. What do you mean? <laughs> do, do. What is this? Did we update our VOD? We resolved in DMs. Okay. Sounds good to me. Hey, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Do a track review. Tell me if I'm boozed or not. Nope. Stats can't tell me that alone. I'd need to How see some gameplay. How we feeling about a little C push? Huh? Oh, I'm feeling yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go uh, super, super quiet, okay? And then when we get any contact, we'll just rush. Let's go super, okay? super quiet, okay? Are you from New Jersey? Skill pill, are you, are you from New Jersey? 
Have I have I found you? <laughs> the Swedish gang, right, you sound quiet. like you're from New Jersey. Listen to him. Let's go uh, super, super quiet. Okay? Or like Staten Island, you know? And then when we get any contact, we'll just rush. Okay. okay. Oh, right here then. Are you smoking or am I smoking? I'll smoke okay. first, why not? Okay. <laughs> Quiet. It's like every so every word that ends in ER, if you're from like Staten Island, you say it like this. So instead of striker, you'd say striker. <laughs> oh. Instead of super, you say super. <laughs> He's on top. Okay. Bro, you got the bomb! Dude, no man. way! What the? What is? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? How many hours? Do you have another account? Okay. I'll watch a bit more. But I may be diagnosing you with simply not enough hours. Because that type of play is just an inexperienced thing. Oh my god, they're all here. Got another one. Dude, we're having too many overrated players now with low hours because I released a guide to hit gold and everyone just like followed it and then gained like infinite elo. I believe we are adding to the rules soon. Um, if you're below diamond, we want to see 300 hours in ranked. And the reason for that is most of you are going to hit diamond in less than that, a lot less than that. And then you can get VOD review. And then the people who still don't hit diamond, you need VOD review. We got to figure out what's wrong. Well played. We got a plan. Expect us to go A, okay? We don't go A. We go back to C. Agreed. Agreed. Five I'll heads. throw a nade here. So he needs to peek here. Okay, okay. Valky Rear. Yeah, so watch out for Thanks that for the prime. Peak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be real quiet. I'll take care of smoking water. I'll, I'll tip you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you need to smoke. Three hundred hours in one act. Who the hell said that? Huh? It was dumb of me to. That'd be insane. Yeah, that's fine. You didn't even know if you got three hundred hours. Well, that's fine because you're above diamond. Let, let me explain. If you're below diamond, and you have less than three hundred hours, it's statistically likely, at this point that a lot of your errors are due to experience, okay? However, if you're getting past Diamond with less than 300 hours, then those errors are very unlikely to be in your gameplay, and it's not a problem. People develop intuition at different paces. Um, Again, they're nowhere here. And just watch the round back. It's proving me right. The dude jumped into a gecko, Molly. That's, I can't write in your notes, don't jump into Gecko Molly. That's bad intuition. It's bad experience. Inside my top, in my top. One water, one water. Every time I bring this up, everyone gets mad about it, but you just have to watch the gameplay. And you, you can't argue with it. It's factually true. Whoa, I didn't think they were so far back. That was really bad. Yeah, like this is this is very bad positioning. And what are you looking at? You're aiming your crosshair here. Whoa, I didn't think they were so far back. That was really bad. You're into the arbitrary number? Um, no. I've reviewed so many players in this ELO range with different amounts of hours. And 300 is the number that feels very appropriate. 
Like, just look, chat. Oh, I... Look at this error. And tell me. Tell me that this is anything but experience gap. What are we aiming here for? We're panicked. Crosshair needs to be here, but also we just shouldn't be here. We're exposed to so many threats. Oh, fuck. Hey, no smoke, no smoke. Nice, you got this. 300 lifetime in rank. One act would be insane. Last player standing. The point is, if you're over that bar and you're still below diamond, then it's almost certainly a, a, a pattern. Like some bad habit you have that's fixable. The problem is, our, there's no pattern in this bot so far. The pattern is inexperience. Shoulder if they try to quick peek this. Like, look back at last VOD chat. Last VOD, there was a very clear pattern, right? It was flash usage is terrible. This VOD, each round, the one common denominator has been you made a bad decision in the heat of the moment. I can't say, yo, make better decisions in the heat of the moment. You know how you do that? Hours. Hours. Got him. Nice. Make some noise, see, and then we rotate, okay? Because they'll think we'll push yeah, on the pick. Rotate, rotate. rotate. Joke's over. You're dead. Have you ever diagnosed someone with just aim practice? Very rarely, but yeah. You can take my weapon. You take the weapon and... Yeah, okay, we can take One is coming, one is flanking, one is flanking. Reloading. Oh, yeah. Wait for the kill, Joy. Wait for it. Out of charges. Go inside, go inside, go inside. Yeah, I mean, there's not much you can do here. Now we go for the A, okay? And to be clear, I could VOD review these people. The thing is, nine times out of ten, all I'm doing is telling you to play more. So why would why don't we just skip that step? This is just sit back. Just want to wait for in the open. Shall I? That's great. Okay, we got one. Perfect. You know Gecko's also there. Let's rotate. Let's rotate. Yeah, you guys do that go and get when Gecko we'll get picks it. his stuff up. Holy smoke. I smoked everything. Shadows traveling. One enemy remaining. Yeah, this is so incoherent. Like I'm watching the rounds back, man. I'm just thinking, this is me playing at this point. I'm probably shift walking up here. And after Omen plants, we can take waterfall together. It's, I don't understand. Like, what, explain the stim beacon, you know? One enemy remaining. Come, come. We just protect the plants. Yeah. Don't die solo, it's the only way he wins. Here. Here. Well played. Decent. I'm full of this, I can ult. Nice. Wanna bro to be able to run away quick? <laughs> and uh, I'll throw Nate here. Uh, Me to be able to here, protect better while he's and planting. This guy, and then you can use your okay. ult. Uh, I trust you. I have full I'll, faith. I'll yeah. How many hours do you have? Like 120. Uh, so Stim Beacon, to put it in perspective, I've measured it. If you Stim right here and rotate CT on Bind to B, 
This saves one second. So does it make you faster? Yes. It's barely useful in a large majority of scenarios for speed. You usually don't use it for speed. Um, Stim Beacon is a weapon for hitting sites and retaking sites, nine times out of 10. So you'd use it here on a B retake. You'd use it here on a A hit. you use it here on a B hit. you use it right as the hit begins. I believe in your brother. Backside, backside. They like that. Behind, behind, behind. Nice. Okay, the food. Oh, I'm almost waterfall. Good, good. Just go post plant, post plant yourself. Sheesh. Nice. <laughs> I might ult. I'm ready. Okay, ult, ult, ult. Nice. Well played. Uh, I'm telling you, this guy's good at Valorant chat. He just needs more hours. Like he can click and move, but watch, watch again. It's specifically these types of scenarios where he gets really panicked. Nine, nine, nine. Sit still. Nice. Okay, the food. Oh, almost... But he doesn't know what to do right now. Waterfall. Doesn't that apply to everyone? Yes, but it's too extreme in this case. In this case, this is like his biggest problem. So everyone has trouble in hectic situations, okay? Including this Omen, including this Killjoy, including this Phoenix, Gecko, Neon, and Omen. Um, but if I were to rate their current levels of panic or how much of a detriment it is to them out of 10, let's say on average, these guys are gonna be at fives, okay? Everyone suffers in hectic situations, but we're at like a nine. We're at like a nine. This is our weakness. Everyone else is roughly average for this rank. F we're scaling it on a scale of 1 to 10 for the rank we're in. So a Radiant player would still be a 5 on average in this scenario too. Okay. This is our biggest problem. Is this a problem everyone has? Yeah, so is Crosshair Discipline. Everyone has a problem with Crosshair Discipline, including me. But it's not my biggest problem. As a coach, I try to identify your biggest problem so that you can focus on it and fix it. So it's not as simple as saying, doesn't everyone get stressed in intense situations? Of course, but that's not everyone's biggest problem. It is looking like it's skill pills biggest problem. I don't Just see much wrong with his play time, time until we get into hectic scenarios. And then it looks like he has absolutely no direction whatsoever. It's like he looks like a silver go, go, player go, 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 go. in the hectic situation. Like, look at him. He's lost. He's lost. Uh, Gecko on side. Oh, man, Stroll. He's better. He's found. Nice. Good job. Okay. Where, what are you feeling, man? I am feeling C. Okay, see. Yeah, Overwatch playtime help at all? No, 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 no. It's specifically ranked just, Valorant I'll... time that gets you used go, to go, these go, scenarios. Go, go, go. I smoked all the smoke. Behind, behind. Oh, behind. That's tough. I think we. Uh, I mean. Like, to be clear, I'm seeing a guy who's diamond level in pre round comms, pre mid-round util usage he should be long in diamond which is why the hours requirement doesn't really apply if you're diamond and up okay so it's not like oh i have to hit 300 hours before i get reviewed no it's like you have to hit diamond which should take less than 300 hours and if it doesn't then you have a problem and we should i'll help you find it okay d is the smallest so if you get B. basically i'm saying i'm only going to review hard stuck golds and plats does that make sense that's what i'm saying if you're not hard stuck gold or plat i don't want to review you because most of the time your problem is you just need to play more and you're going to get out of that rank that's the tldr if you're hard stuck then i'll look at you and help figure out why okay or like we'll if go you, for B. you're kj here yeah, yeah yeah the skill pill is not hard stuck uh, we need to try and get a link done. Yeah, yeah, the, okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. 
I'll smoke the part of A-Link that can I say. Okay. Okay, help, help, help. Wait for the help, guys. Don't, don't push it too fast. Smoking head. Trigger panic mode. Pog, it slowed down enough. We got to a decent position. Or maybe even side. I think. Watch, watch out, watch out, sniper. I needed them, I needed them. Yeah. Okay, if you guys Ooh, are. That smoke's not the best. Um, It actually lets them pretty comfortably come drop. If you're about to molly okay, drop, I'll, though, you're kind I'll of giga ahead. On backside, backside. Uh, out, 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 out. Bro. No Molly. Whoa. Nice. Do you see chat? Do you see? Do you see? What other advice would I give this player? I'm backside, backside. Uh, out, 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 out. Bro. During hits, we just lose ourselves. And it's because we're not experienced. Oh, nice. Launching smoke. You get lost in the sauce. And he almost fold your fault. Cover going out. Smoking hall. Smoke down. Waterfall smoke. Jet boys. Uh, it's just it's just it. I'm I'm stuck. He's close. Yeah. In the smoke, in the smoke. Yeah, shops. Go watch my recent JPC videos, or the one coming up today. At the end, I literally say we just got to play more JPC. Let's keep playing the JPC series. I'm obligated to put a video up each week, but at this point, the biggest thing JPC has to focus on is playing more games, and that's the advice I'm giving him too. Waterfall smoke. Jet boys. <laughs> I'm oh, oh, in the smoke, in the smoke. Oh, my bad. I Same think we should oh, play more. I, I see, like, you've got great pre round comms, you've got pretty good mid round comms. I'll smoke Kevin. Util's not bad. I wouldn't mind lurking a bit more with double controller. But then this happens. Top. And it's a coin flip. Play slow, play slow. You have advantage. What if you have 2,000 hours still can't rank up? Then I want to VOD review you. Big advantage. The line is 300 hours and then you're hard stuck and I will help you and I'll VOD review you. Don't go solo. No, I'm just hiding here. here. Yeah, I don't think we're hard stuck. He's walking back. Help. I'll peek hey, defense, so. but I'm not gonna lie. I don't I'm think we need polite. to. Hey, I think you just need to keep Locking playing back. games and try harding. And just enjoy the game. Shrapnel, they have a 25! The with a one gifted tier 3! Mm, Gecko's on side. No. Oh my god. Look, this guy's calm. 
One sec, one sec, one sec. When was this game skill pill? Eight days ago? Eight days ago would be like May 1st. Lotus, like here. How about this guy? Is this guy a grinder? Look, chat! How did I know, huh? Huh? How did I know that the guy who's calm has four times our hours? This guy's hard stuck platinum. He's probably making mistakes that are related to some fundamental issue with his decision making that I could help him with. And I could coach him. This person needs coaching because look how calm they are. They're collected. They can think. They can play. It's, but they're in the same rank as us. Why are they in the same rank as us? Because they're bad at something else. Something that's coachable. Unlike our player, who's only bad in stressful situations and is still climbing quite actively. Honestly, I think you just have to get more hours, unfortunately. You've played... You have one-fifth as many hours as the teammates are getting in your lobbies, and it shows. Um, no, I already have a guide to hit gold, Jazel. And there's a stipulation in that guide that will result in free coaching if you don't hit gold. So your friend who hasn't hit gold yet with a million hours, all they have to do is watch this video. And then if they meet this criteria, I will coach them for free. But believe it or not, absolutely nobody has met this criteria yet. You know why? Because they all hit gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is that easy this is why I don't VOD review players below gold however I do do once a week every Wednesday low elo experimental coaching okay skill pill you don't need notes I got you You need gameplay. I'm back at 300 hours of rank. You're way too lost in the sauce during hectic situations. Thank you for the VOD skill pill. We have to gift a tier three from Shrapnel. Who should we give it to? If I have 300 plus hours, but you're still climbing, you shouldn't get a VOD review. It's up to you at that point. You technically meet the criteria. Let's see. Who's going to be a positive influence in the in-houses? Oh, one sec. I'm going to start a raffle. If you have a VOD, you'd like to get it reviewed, head over to the Discord. Discord.tg slash Wuhujin. Head over to the Raffle Competition channel. Click the enter raffle button. <laughs> wait, wait, is it, let me follow this. I haven't gold yet, but I'm not following the routine. Well, well, then, of course, like what? Uh, I guarantee nothing in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh here we go walker l walker l's always in stream oh my god november November's crazy, man. I started streaming in like October. <laughs> 
I check when you join, you just click on your username. Bam, you joined in January. You can see I joined November 2021. When I made this Discord for my heckin' TFT friends. <laughs> La boob, thank you for the prime. On the grind, trying to hit benchmarks, I think I'd have flatline. Can I hit more than 20 medium bots consistently while I'm standing still? What are you talking about? None of the benchmarks involve standing still. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty pastry, thank for the two three. Say no, thank you for the two three. Oh my god, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Oh, let's see how two. Thank you for the prime. W viewers. Three hundred hours be a requirement for viral review. Yeah, we're gonna put something like that into the rules for players below diamond. Mostly because if you have less than that, let's be real. You don't need personalized coaching yet. You just want it, and I don't care about what you want. I care about what you need. If you're a serious player trying to rank up, and you've got hundred hours and you're platinum, you're probably gonna hit diamond in less than 300 go do it then i'll coach you i'm not trying to give you guys what you want i'm trying to give you what you need okay and every time i do a review like that one the other seven people who entered the raffle who might have actually benefited more from the vod review didn't get vod review does that make sense so if you're out here like oh but i have 82 hours and i'm platinum three I want my VOD review. You're stealing it from the other people. Does that make sense? And it's low quality for you. Like you don't need it yet. Now, if you're hard stuck, I got you. But this isn't a you get what you want stream. This is a I tell you explicitly how to reach high ELO stream for sure. And in this case, if you're below 300 hours and you're in gold or plat, you don't need one on one. You just need more hours. Jaisal, thank you for the prime. What did you constitute as hard stock? 300 hours. You asked the reasoning behind picking diamond. It just seems like I don't run into the issue with Diamond VOD review shops. I've VOD reviewed over 500 people and it just happens to be that way where I almost never give this advice to Diamond players regardless of their hours, but it happens a lot in Gold and Platinum. A lot. <laughs> This is why you chose diamond for JPC series. I chose diamond because it's a realistic goal that we can hit and will hit. It's very important to set realistic goals. You shouldn't be a silver player and go, I'm going to hit radiant. Why don't you set your sights on radiant once you're immortal? Let's say diamond and then immortal and then radiant. Like set reasonable goals for yourself. I don't want to say boomer to immortal because that's going to be a two year long series potentially, which would be really stressful for JPC to commit to such a long time investment. 
diamond is something we can hit in less than a year. And we are hitting in less than a year. And the raffle. Seven entries. Escalite! You a long time no see. I think we got notes, chat. My memory is good. And despite there being so many of you, I don't forget students. Okay, we were taking very poor gunfights for the range mobility qualities of our weapon. Oh! And somebody went from Ascendant 1 to Ascendant 3? Peak! Okay, okay, Escalite. I see you were almost there. Let's, let's get you there. Escalite, hashtag Esco. Rank Ascendant 2. Damn! 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 Bro is playing every day! Let's see it. All right, chat. Get your get your counts out. We're checking for strikes. We're specifically going to be looking for the range and mobility qualities of the fights we take. Being high quality, which conveniently is agent agnostic because Escolite switched mains. Can you take the uh, I'm leaving it. We're too slow, honestly. I've left for B like now. On pistol round escalate, I almost always assume that they're five stack rush. You don't see anything A within the first four seconds. Just go. Just go. Assume that this guy's got bad comms and didn't comm B. Because that happens in solo queue a lot. Yeah. See? <laughs> are they entering? No. No, they aren't. Uh, Freeze. Why aren't we jumping down? This fight sucks for Frenzy. And then so. Flash. Reloading. Low omen. Omen back. Minus 75. Yep, this is good. Ooh, I would have just kept holding that guy. They got a bit impatient. Nice. Last was low, maybe healed by Sage. What are you doing? You have 48 HP. You have a frenzy. And the last guy's running B main. You're allowed to peek it once Phoenix shows up, but That's look what you did. By Sage. Right here? Phoenix ain't with you yet. You're trying to hit a mortal? You can't do this. You thought he was pillar. We're still running away. Nice. Last was low, maybe healed by Why do you think that? He's just past this line. Sage. Here. Behind the box. Good job. <laughs> well played. Well played. You're not watching minimap in that Get moment. Sage. Let's see. One enemy remaining. Nice. Last was low, maybe. 
So right here, you should be looking at your minimap though, because there's one guy left alive and you're hearing gunshots. So what are you worried about exactly? Like you hear them shooting each other. You know, there's one guy left. I don't think I know it's only one left at the moment. I mean, this guy calmed the last guy. One enemy remaining. Nice. One enemy remaining. Last was low, maybe healed by Sage. I think we gotta count it. You had all of the Here. all of the hints the there to know his location, and we just didn't know it. Good job. <laughs> well played. Well played. Thank you. And I gotta be a stickler for this stuff because I want you to hit a mortal. I want you to hit radiant. I want you to okay, win. Okay. Are you German? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna call it strike one because also, um, like yeah, you drop down from heaven. No. But why are we posting up here in the first place? Uh, I them. So. Doesn't make sense. It's, uh, like. I will stand them uh, if it's mid. Say to me and uh, you can pick. You better not pick this. I can't hold, I got. Whew. Get a smoke. It's a, it's a. I see not. Pushing screen. I don't think you can do this. I'm just, I don't think you like doing this either. And I think for whatever reason in your head, you think we need a main control. Correct me if I'm wrong, because you probably feel really uncomfortable walking out this way. It should feel uncomfortable. They could be here, the classic pistol. They could be over here. This is like really annoying for us with a specter, but you just want a main. So what you have to do in these scenarios is we need to develop some maturity. Doing something that you know feels bad is never a valid solution to a problem. You want to call a teammate over. Kiljik, can we retake from a man together? I need help. And then if she comes, it's lit. If she doesn't come, you cannot walk down a man. You just can't. You have a specter. Pushing screen. This is no good. It's One has a... Uh, One main screen. This is unnecessary okay. risk. Killjoy mid. Easy round. Top. Screens. I smoked the bomb. Screen. I think it's... Yeah. Good top practice. Top, I think. Yeah, top. Seven. Uh, Easy. Maybe it's busy time. Captain Nash, thanks for the three months. I'm gonna like, we need a word for this, but I'm gonna classify it because everyone's made this error. Let me give you the best example of this error chat. Um, is it Haven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever taken B on Haven? Notice you've got nobody covering flank, and then you just stick the plant and pray that they don't peek window. And then they peek window and you die and you go, ah, oh, man, I knew they'd probably do that. Unlucky. Have you ever done that? That's the type of error that a radiance not going to make um, unless the timer reads like this and they have to plant. Um, that's the same type of error we just made on split here where you walked with your specter alone. You said, man, it'd be really nice if I had main. Just like on here, man, it'd be really nice if the bomb was just planted. It'd be really nice. We just win the round. And you're not wrong. It would. And you're not wrong here. Being main would just win the round. That'd be really nice. But in exchange for that, you just sort of hope that these risks don't bite you in the ass. And it turns out you didn't have to do this. This is the problem. You frequently choose this choice when you could have asked a teammate to come 
or you could have just left main undealt with. You've got a huge gun advantage. Three take out A. It's not the end of the world. Or in this case, I'm even tap the bomb, look window, and play it by ear from there. That's what the Radiant's doing. Individual errors like that are they're like immature. Um, like it's you you grew up playing chess against middle schoolers because you were in middle school and you thought it was good to just attack their queen with your own piece that's hanging because hopefully they won't see it. But we're getting into higher ELOs. You can't make mistakes like that. Yeah, bit tough. Yeah. Mid. Mid. You have to expect them to play correctly. Yeah, and it's correct for them to have somebody A main. Okay. Now? Oh, I'm smooth. It's correct for them to have a flanker in that haven. So oh would. my god. Oh, I'm smooth. Reach flash. So they would. He's stunned. Oh, I'm smooth. Yeah, but like, does breach stun call? <laughs> no, no, no. Breach stun is hit. The breach stun hit Reyna right here. Reyna is stunned right now. The Reyna is stunned. You're not too slow. There's four mid. <laughs> Should I would? <laughs> Is this a phantom? What do you think so? <laughs> <laughs> That's strike two, bro. This has to be strike two. Why are you playing Phantom this way? <laughs> Buy Vandal if you're going to play this way. <laughs> you can't play it this way with a Phantom. What the hell is this? How's that strike two? If I can't hold that range, I can't buy a Phantom ever? What? What do you mean? This is fight is bad for Phantom. And you're ADS. It's better for Vandal. Evidenced by the fight you just took. If I'm playing mid with your Phantom, I'm generally trying to fight them when they're scaling mid in this box. So I'll usually play more passively. I might play for info. My jump spot. We're going to play off breach. We're going to fight in this region. Now, if I want to fight deep down here, then I'm buying op, uh, marshal, handle. If I can only take 15 meter fights, I'll not buy phantom again, especially on jet. No, it's more the first fight you choose to post up on the beginning of the round sucks for phantom. It's not that you can only take 15 meter fights with the Phantom. It's that this particular fight doesn't make any sense when there's a better option for the Phantom readily available. Um, for example, I wouldn't post up screens at the start of the round with a Phantom and hold this. This doesn't make sense. This angle sucks to start with the Phantom. I'd play ramps or I'd play flowers. Or I might even play here or here. If I really wanted to play screens, I'd probably buy Vandal or an operator. Um, there are long range fights that are fine for the Phantom to take. For example, let's say we're on a retake and we're coming screens. Sometimes you have to peak these long range fights with the Phantom. The Phantom is objectively weaker in a long range fight and objectively stronger in close range fights. You have to play to the strengths of your weapon. Um, when people say Phantom or Vandal, I think it's also Im implied that you have to adjust your playstyle for the weapon. They're not, you can't just buy one and then play exactly the same. They're different weapons played differently. Um, 
and you're not you're not making an adjustment here. You're playing like you have a vandal, completely, and it bites you. It bites you in the ass. Like, look at this. You can't argue with that. That's tough. <laughs> One rams. Timing is the bigger issue, IMO. I'll humor you. Find me one clip of a pro jet on split ADSing from ropes with Phantom against the equal buy in solo queue. I'll humor you. Show me somebody doing that pre round as like their plan. I think it's an objectively bad pre round plan with the Phantom. I don't think you're going to find anybody doing it. But if you do, fair. Fair play. But otherwise, I think you're simply, you're coping quite hard. I don't think you're going to find anybody doing that with the Phantom because it's bad with the Phantom. Let's see, who's a phantom buyer? We'll, we'll look right now, too. Bang. Bang, split, Provan. I mean, he plays controller, but that's fine. He'll probably play ropes. Oh, this is edited. Does Nats buy phantom? He does. It's lit. Look, we're ropes. H, you're gonna use it here. He has a phantom. I'm gonna use smoke and we'll try to fight with him. Oh, what? He's trying to... What is I this? I gonna go away, Alex, one more time. I'm staying on flash. Grenade! Denated me. Same event to use flash. My God. He's trying to fight them when they scale up a little bit. Use. On the left, close vents, close vents. Minus 100, minus 100 on the Well, that's the stage revive, hit. Minus 100. And that's close to a long range fight. This is bad for Phantom. He thought they were up in the box because Raze is so far up. And now he happens to have to take a long range fight with the Phantom. Minus 100 on the Well, that's the stage going to revive, hit, hit. You will not kill my there allies. Oh. It's all about the pre-round plan for okay. how he's gonna hold mid. Smith. Let's find another rope. Yeah, fake bananas is in this vibe. Oh my day. <laughs> No more ropes play. No more ropes play. Feels bad. I'll let you go find that clip at any time though, Escalate. Because you're not going to find somebody start the round ADS with Phantom from ropes. On an equal buy. There's just no way. Maybe in another six months, if the meta for light armor becomes incredibly straightforward, but even then, it's 124 range. So even against light armor, it's bad. Nice. They are closer. Just straight to aid. Okay. Yeah. It's slightly worse than Vandal. That's exactly it, Escalate. It's not bad at long range. You're right. You're right. It, the Phantom is fine at long range. But this is the key statement. This is the key part. Just slightly worse than Vandal. Exactly. Which is why you wouldn't opt into holding an angle like it against a potential Vandal. Why would you give them slightly better odds? Exactly.
quoting you now. Well, we could even call it 4951. The, like the fact that you'd opt into that pre round is the problem. That's it. People don't play ropes this way with Phantom. Things are scared to go the main. Ouch. Because of my. Do we know they're on Eco? Nah, it'd be unrealistic for you to recognize Killjoy's the one week by. Get to go the main because of my. That's honestly unlucky. We're going to ignore Phantom ADS as a future strikes. Okay, I'm prepared to stand there. We'll keep watching. Can you pick? No, oh, only one. A lot on mid minus. And to be clear, chat, my advice there isn't buy Vandal. It's don't hold that angle with Phantom. I prefer the Phantom, Ooh, the mid hold. Two mid. I just don't give the ropes after. fight. Mid. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? Real red hair, I have no idea what you're talking about. I sent one message on my main account. Last player standing. Spike plant standing. On site eight. Last player standing. Mm, I think we'll give you the pass on that. Because you didn't know if they're mid or not. Don't know how far uh, up they'd be. Phantom diff. One was water. Yeah, nice. Uh, one more, one more. Jet. I'm doing, I'm not sure. Yeah, nice. We got the spike. Hmm. Uh, one more, one more. I guess you have dash, but I'm not sure I like walking around the corner. I think there's like this window where as you're coming around the corner out ropes, it's really awkward for you to dash. Yeah, nice. Spike we got this spike. So I probably wouldn't have walked across like that. Okay. Oh, you're crazy. Watch out. Nice. Woo! One more. Yeah. I think you gotta recognize at this point you're striking yourself out. But do you see yourself looking to you're really jonesing to peak right now? And your breach ends up saving your ass and flashes for you, which is lit. But you're really down to just peak and fight right now. Like you're really down for it. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> you're like super diggity down for this fight. But you're you're at a huge disadvantage. The moment the breach flashes, it's lit. Last. Yeah, this is good. We got three. This is lit! Nice, good job. Nice. Save your ram. Oh, lucky. Spike down A. I'm going to peek. ATP. Oh, I wouldn't peek out. We'll get the spike. You got the sheriff. We don't need to peek. Flashing for you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bro did not flash for you. These fights are good. I wouldn't peek until we've got control of ramps. So on this box, this off angle is like giga broken. Especially with Phantom. If they walk into you, it's really free. 
once your breach starts pushing up and you recognize there's nobody ramps then of course you peek out and push with him Mid one. Someone's be. One water. Okay. Clearing out. Blinding. Hmm. Did you? Did we Clearing peek? Out. I'm checking if we peek before the, or after the flash. I can't tell if you're just the fastest reaction speed Andy in the West, or if you decided to peek with no info. Okay, you could be the fastest reaction speed ending in the West. I'll give it to you. Yeah. One more, maybe, in the corner. Oh, but then you don't dodge that breach flash. No. Sort of goes against my theory that you're the fastest reaction speed Andy in the West. breach writing is utility lock yeah yeah but the thing is i'm seeing you hold a d like before i feel like the flash is coming and there was no calm that he's gonna flash and so i felt like you're gonna peek into three potentially because we no info lit no 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 you leave Okay, this is the hardest part about Valorant. This, this is what keeps so many people away from high you low. It feels so right to just shift peak. If you're going to re-peak mid, jump peak is fine. Crouch peak is fine. Although I wouldn't re-peak mid. Um, I'm knifing out. I'm probably going this way right here to post up B main and get another. They think mid is like locked down. They think your op is mid and they can't push it. And they'd be right. Uh, I'm down for knives if you want to peek mid right now. But you don't shift peek with an op. Um, after you've just given away your location. You can shift peek with an op if let's for example say they've been shooting at your breach a lot. And he's running away be heaven. And they haven't seen you ropes yet. Then yeah you can shift peek with the op. Um, but in this scenario where they could be holding you. Shifting the op like this can result yeah. in death. Okay, let, let's wait. I can ult them when they are pushing. Killjoy, you may. Yeah, and notice how close you are to this corner. Um, this angle is very dangerous with the op. If they shift out very carefully mid here. Yeah, nice. That's better. Enemy spotted B. The reason why this corner is fine, chat, is um, we'd have to be a little bit wider, but it's because of these double boxes down here. Yes, now you're asking for it. You're asking for it. You're asking for it, Escalite. It's so hard to make the disciplined choice in these scenarios because you just want to kill them. You just want to kill them. I get that. You've got ego. I have ego. Everyone has ego. But you have to jump spot in the first place and prime your dash if you're going to go for this. So if you'd prime your dash and jump spotted, taken one shot and dashed away, I would honestly give you the pass, okay? Uh, I think it's healthy for a jet player to have that type of ego. However, you don't have dash anymore. We appear to have used it. Um, when did we use it? Oh, we just die. Oh, no, we have it up. We have it up. Yeah. If you jump spot right here, take one shot and dash away, I'm giving you that. I'm giving you that because jet players need to feel better than the enemy team. But shift peeking, this is borderline disrespectful, Escalette. This is disrespectful. You're shift peeking like this into multiple dudes. They're headshotting you, <laughs> especially in like Immortal Plus. You're getting cooked. Now you jump spot, you hit a crazy flick, you dash away. Fair play, fair play, but nah, nah, nah. Shift peeking.
Tens was saying that jumping with op is not good anymore. Don't listen to Tens. Just watch Tens. You, you know what? Tens jet split. This day, Vaz four days old. If he jump peeks with op, then will you agree that listening to what Ten says is the worst decision you could ever make in your life? And instead, you should just watch how Ten's plays. No offense to Ten's, he just doesn't talk effectively. Is he op this game? Because I'm sure we're gonna see this guy jump spot. That's all I'm saying. If he has an op, he's going to do a jump peek. Oh, he doesn't op this game. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Whatever. It's not split. I don't know why the title says it's split. But I saw an op in the thumbnail. I think. Here we go. This is what I learned about tens is um, he's a fabulous player. His gameplay is great to study, but actually listening to his opinions on the game is like route to L's. Let's see if he uh, does any jump spots. He's actually trolling. He should be saving there. Here we go. We'll see if he does any jump spots at all. Because I'm ac actually expecting him to do some. I I watched quite a bit of this guy, and I know I've seen him jump spot. What? Stim beacon here. Wait, one cost left, right? Sheesh. This is actually different for that. Is that the stim beacon op peak? You got me there. You got me there. He just walk peeked. With a stim beacon, but he just walk peeked. Let's watch another rot. Man, we are low on bots. Fine, three months old. <laughs> Why is it at the timestamp, chat? <laughs> you can get into milk corner and dog us up. <laughs> why is why do I already have this bot at the timestamp for that? He said it more recent than three months. Yeah, but they haven't changed it since then. And if you really want me to go find him doing it more recently, I will. I will. Like if you want me to go hunt down his Twitch VODs. He jump spots quite a bit. Like, I watch him play a lot of the time. Uh, I think his gameplay is immaculate. But the words that come out of his mouth, for example, silver is harder than immortal. They're so hard to read. Blah, 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 blah. You can't listen to this guy. His takes are L. I'm not going to lie. That's an L take. This dude just talks and he's a savant. His gameplay is so good. He's so good at the game. His intuition is fabulous. His aim is immaculate. He is like a genius. Okay. But the problem with geniuses is they're not the best at teaching. And Tens, does, he's, he's a very good example of that. I'm sorry, Tens. I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. You can get the mail corner and dock us up. Back to Arvad. Smoke. 
Nice, good job. Nice, good job. Nice, good job. Hmm. I'm trying to determine if this peak is okay. Three B side. I think it's good. I think this peak's good. I probably jump spot personally, but in this scenario, nice, makes a lot of sense. I'm coming, Phoenix. Nice. Okay, good job. No, Q tip. Ten says like a 100% win rate in silver. He's literally just like, it, his words don't make any sense. He'll like die to one silver lurker that doesn't make any sense while dropping 50 and be like, whoa, silver's so hard. They're hard to read. Flashing. One right side heaven. One right side heaven. Rasta. Blast, blast. Spike down A. So nice side. Elbow. I would look ropes. Ooh. Just a deep search breach. Side. Damn, they rotated nobody mid. That's tough. That's tough. Uh, do we, do we can pause the stun or... You can't imagine Tens losing silver. That's because he doesn't. Can you stun the <laughs> instantly? You don't think the repeak was good? You expected him. He was getting held. Yeah, yeah, but hear me out. We're stuck, Elbow. Here. Breach ult is coming sight. They know we're Elbow. Our operator sucks at retake. We've got breach flashes up. I would prob like, let's see. I mean, you could smoke, I guess, and give up all of sight. I don't know. Me personally, I live by the mantra of avoid discomfort and retaking with um, operator is discomfortable. And so I'm probably jump spotting and shooting and dashing for my own mental health. But I can see an argument for dashing screens in this way and playing retake with the op. But I'm probably going for it. Okay. Instant or not? Instant. Ooh. One more. He saw Reyna's teammates weren't following her out, Sorloth. There was a huge gap between Reyna and the corner when he killed her, and there was nothing. So, do you want me to stand there? Yeah. One taking the rope. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that is so tough. That is so tough. But I can stun them and. Not much you can do there. Your breach literally flashed your ass. Maybe take the Zorb, uh, Phoenix, so you can. Get your ult soon. It didn't clear it. Nice, good job. Nice. Okay, I, st I can stun. Nice. Okay, it's a good kill, but it could be better. I'm booting up split to show you what I'm talking about. And this is like the TLDR of your whole gameplay. And this is why you're not. Um, Higher rated. Let's go. 
individual decisions need to reach a point of perfection to reach the top ranks or very close to it because individual decisions are easy. They're easy. And let me explain. Easy as in you are in full control of all of the decisions. We're get, not going to say hitting shots. That doesn't matter. Okay. Just the oh, technique taken in fights and the fights we choose to take and how we position for them. My ult's ready. Those things should be roughly, roughly perfect or as close to as imaginable. So you're taking, what are you on? Um, You're here. Okay. So first of all, there's a better off angle and there's a better off angle. These angles are both way better. And so we should play them. Simple as that. And then if our teammates start pushing them, well then, okay, we'll follow our dumb teammates. But what is going to happen, Emmett, Remus, thank you for the tier three. When you build a habit of coming to like this box, two people while you reposition, you've got buddies, you've got buddies. You're coping, you're coping so hard right now. Look. Nice, good job. You kill this guy, you dash, nice. and your rafters right now. You can literally, from this spot, right here, you unswing to come to this box, bro. You're not exposed to anything. What are you talking about? You're literally unswung, and then you swing out. How is she peeking you there? Okay, I, st I can stand. Would you think while you're doing that, she's going to knife out and take this timing window against your whole team? Your breach is looking heaven. How's she going to do that? Crazy. One enemy remaining. Nice. Getting on that corner is not comfortable without looking down for me. Me neither. I just come real quick. Okay, one sec. It's not that slow. And that angle is really strong. But however, if you're like not confident in that angle, at that moment, she can be heaven and kill me. No. So you think this killjoy who's walking out heaven this way is going to pre-aim right here and hold right here and then be like, got him. She can see me while I look down. This is such a tight window. You'd be looking down while she's here. And if she like, like I, it's so low odds to me. I feel like she'd have to be wall hacking for that to happen. It's not a timing thing, chat. Like they specifically have to wait in this off angle at the right time. It's so unlikely. And even then, let's pretend that you're actually worried about that. Okay, then come here. Being right here is not comfy. Escalate, you're in a you're in an angle that gets pre-aimed. They're gonna be like right next to your head with this pre-aim. So they pre-aim the rope and they pre-aim rafters right here, and you're right here. It's too close to their crosshair. It's worse. This might be comfy against diamonds or ascendants, but I assure you it's not comfy against low immortals, middle mortals. Who knows? Like we, we can math it out. If you want to start keeping tally, every time you play split, you get in this angle, keep tally, and then you get in this angle, keep tally. How often it works. Do it a hundred times each one and report back. Just measure it. It'll take a while, but you can. I've done it in my notebook before. Um, most notably, I think I've told you guys before, but this off angle on Icebox, ADS crouch holding, I felt uncomfortable about, so I kept tally. And it turns out it's better. I converted it way more. Um, you just, it's not the best play. Well, where were we? We're past this round. 
Thanks. There's two better angles, and your only reason for not going to them is one you were like, you didn't feel you could get to one properly, which you could just custom time. And she can't peek you at any moment. Like, it doesn't make sense. He's way back here. Your boy's got the line. So I think you're too worried then. Um, you have to take more risk. Like, if you're out here like, oh, she can peek me at any time, you're over here. And if you really want, like, you can peek this without um, looking down. Like, if you practice, as you can see. All you do is you line up, like, on this line. So that your right and left is on it, you see? You aim up and you can move to the right. You see? It's just better. Um, because when you're on that type of angle, your Phoenix happens to be coming rope. Well, now they get their flash ready. You make contact, your Phoenix flashes, comes up, and kills. It becomes very useful. Didn't jump spot it once. I didn't say he will jump spot every VOD purple. In fact, we watched a fracture game where he didn't jump spot. I said, I will find him jump spotting. Do you want me to go look for one? Oh, sorry, sorry. Jump peeking is what I mean, purple. You found one on off. Exactly. Uh, we can find both jump spotting and jump peeking. <laughs> I didn't say it'll happen every VOD. I said it's going to happen. For sure, recently. Okay. Okay, I, st I can stand. Nice. Can okay, we do so, it more often uh, though? Uh, nah, yeah. I never said that. Fine. Is it fine? Okay. I can try. Just probably take my left. Yeah, the point is Tens explicitly called it bad, which should mean that he doesn't do it. Nice it's bad. Nice, good job, guys. I don't think he cleared flowers, but I'm not going to blame you because you just killed three people. She got the frenzies are on Nico. As long as you dodge breach flash here, it's fine. Ooh. Oh, it's because you're moving so much. Yeah, look. As he peeks you, you're walking straight forwards. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. Your cross is right on him. It's micro individual errors that we need to fix. Like across the board. Side. Good luck. Nice. Ooh. Uh, Tough. That's good damage. She should get traded. Uh, the only thing I change is lots of the time. Um, definitely is a second smoke to take site there. But you did your job. You took the space. You got info on Killjoy. You hit her 125. That's enough to win the round. Rudy Coin, thank you for the prime. Oh my God, he's different. I said you. Can TP up. These guys just use both smokes. Nice, good job. Let's go B, let's go B, guys. One man. Can you heal yourself, Phoenix? Yeah. Right. Evan, one. Nice. One was mid. Okay. She's. Attack is pretty good. And rain. Nice. 
How do you beat a Smurf? Beats me. I, I don't coach how to win individual games. Winning individual games doesn't matter to me. Getting better as a player is all I all I know how to do. Reina probably low. Yeah, tough. I'd probably try to go behind the box, but... Yeah, attack looks really good. I think your biggest weakness is you get into post plant, and then your your positioning it turns into defense. And let's watch. I mean, it's five okay. v two now, so it doesn't really matter. But if they are defusing, I can ult let's watch. them. Okay. Just only if we are in bad situation. Yeah. So. We know this one be main, I believe, or is that heaven? Wait, sorry. It's heaven, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get close to um, this corner more and peek off a line bot. Because right now you're not doing anything. They can shoot. Oh, you have to try it. Don't, don't ask, don't ask. Huh? Under heaven. Bingo. Nice uh, yeah, yeah. Do you get three strikes? Yeah, basically. We're going to update his notes a bit. Because if we're being very explicit about the notes, no, because some of the fights he took on 40 HP technically don't break the rules yeah, of his notes. I've got no complaints about your attacking jet. I'm not going to lie. It's post plant. It's like the moment you enter defensive mode. Nice, good job. You gotta leave. You've got bad op hygiene. Don't you think he's insta crash spraying too much? I don't think so. Didn't stand out to me. Ooh. Yeah. Got a dash. This fight's so tough, man. It's all micro errors. Even. Oh, that's just your job. That's tough. The one round you don't dash out and clear flowers. This guy is flowers. Even. The one round. Oh. Oof. Escalate. That is tough. Literally the singular round. This dude clear flowers religiously. Every A hit. And he's like, okay, well, they don't play flowers. Which is fair. That's fair. Okay, 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 okay. No disadvantages allowed in gunfights, assuming you are very aware of them. So, not even minor disadvantages, such as Edward's Vandal at long range, if you can avoid it. So, um,. It's like when you choose to take a fight in a pre-round, you choose to post up or you choose to hold something on 40 HP, or you choose to peak, um, low HP peaking, do, do, do frequent up movement slash repeaking. And this can be good situationally with utility. 
But a lot of the time you get your pick on the lurker and you just stay A. It's like you have to be on the hunt for the most high odds engagements you can get. And you can't be willing to compromise. Like if you're, if you're saying, oh, but I don't feel comfortable peeking this without looking. Well, then you should go learn how to peek it without looking. If you think that that's a necessary uh, component for peeking this angle. Um, yeah, like shift peeking mid into potentially three with an op. Questionable peeking mid with 40 HP. Holding heaven here to be main with frenzy. All of these things need to be gone from your play. I want you peeking them the correct way. I don't want you like not taking fights. I love you taking fights. But I want you immediately hopping into the smoke and looking to swing out into them with your frenzy. I want you priming dash, jump peeking, taking a single shot, dashing away. I want you at 40 HP here, throwing a smoke down. And then looking to get into some weird angle. And playing your low HP advantage. Or maybe even like doing some crazy around the world nonsense. Something crazy on low HP. Um, attack is good. Post plants are bad as well. So this is, this is basically defense slash post plant is your biggest issue here. Attack is like good. And I don't think you should change anything right now. You should focus on these things. Throwing a smoke with low HP playing around it good. Does it get spammed easily? Test the waters. Throw one smoke and see what happens. Maybe they will just spam it. Then don't push. Uh, it depends on the team you're facing. Some teams do spam them a lot. Some teams like don't. <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> um, like I played a lot of Jet and it really is hit or miss. Some teams will like spam full mags and other teams will like spam half a mag into your first smoke and the second smoke they'll just ignore. Um, you can watch Tarek for that. Tarek uses a lot of good smokes like that. He's really good. Should controller mains be egoist? I have no idea what you're saying. But they shouldn't be passive. Yeah, shorties would have been good on split there. Would you rather have defeats or wins for the review vods? I don't care. Kind of like with Viper ult, some teams will dump two mags each. 10 pieces of util in my ult and sometimes they don't attempt any spammy yeah yeah it's like you either face spammy players or you don't <laughs> i personally am a spammy player how do you pre-aim ramps um uh, like this I don't know. I just do it. I'm, I seem pretty good at it, but I'm just doing it by feel. That's arm, just a ramp. I'm not sure I understand you. <laughs> how do you know if you reach peak or hard suck you're not at your peak if you're ascendant i genuinely believe anyone can hit a mortal can you explain why viper's bad solo controller no because i don't care what team comp you're running in solo queue i think viper solo controller is fine in solo queue Where's our ramps guy? I'm trying to answer his question. Guys, you don't have a corner. You look at dot move position for ramps. Ramps isn't that common of a hold. All your pro analysis streams uploaded to YouTube? Yes. Um, the Nats split one will be going up, I think, tomorrow. I have a lot of VODs in the queue. I've got to put the fake and Anna's collab up. JPC is going up today. When it goes downhill or uphill and it is a ramp like in C. Uh, 
Uh, my peak like that. And like that. And like this. And then like that. And like this. Or like this, like this, maybe I clear these if I'm feeling extra thorough, like that, this, I'm sorry, that was actually bad. I don't know, like that. I, I hope this example was useful. I'm not the best at peeking, but I'm pretty good. So that's probably useful. <laughs> Did that answer your question? <laughs> I tried to just demonstrate by example because I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But that is exactly how I would be those angles if I was suspicious of like everything. Going down the stairs, you aim at the back wall and near the stairs. I don't know. I do this. Whatever I just did, just clip it and learn for yourself. I'll say thanks for helping me hit radiant without your advice. Couldn't done it. Yo, congrats, dude. Who'd show some split tech? Okay, if you're playing jet and you float over this box, if you manually start your float at the right time, like this, and you let go of crouch at the top of screens, you can float up onto here for free. But you have to start your float manually, like a second float press right at the peak of your jump to get the timing down right. All right, there's your split tech. You hit the jump to boxes near the B main choke. Oh, this jump? Here. What do you mean, this jump? Here. Is that hittable? I don't know about this one. Oh, it is! With a manual float! Yo, oh, that's sick! I didn't know about that! You have to manual float though, and that felt really, really perfect. Oh man, that's hard. It's a manual float. Um, let me just confirm they never passed this. Yeah. So if you just hold jet jump, she floats automatically. That's what you're saying. And you're right. So look, we're just going to draw this. She'll jump and then she'll float. Okay. But in reality, she doesn't float right away. She actually falls and then floats. This is what actually happens when you hold the button. If you manually press the button on this frame, then you can actually start the float earlier and you'll lose just a bit less height. Just a bit less. And that's actually important for this jump that I showed right here. If you want to hit this consistently, you need to learn the manual float timing. Oh, look at that. I haven't done it in a while. Whew, it's tough. I think they're both manual float jumps. That one definitely is. And this one feels harder. So, wow, that one's really hard. That one's really hard. Like, to hit both in a row seems pretty unrealistic. So I'd probably updraft. Devious, I just explained how the, the thing works. Radiant Jetman, you didn't know this? Well, yeah, you don't need to know this. This, <laughs> this is worthless knowledge. Let's see. Split tech, split tech. Somebody asked for split tech and I only showed one thing. I gotta show more than one thing. 
this still in the game? They pass this? Try it. I want to stand on that light. You used to be able to stand on that. Here. And you used to be able to stand up here. here. New spot on bind. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Well, we're doing jet tech, evidently. There's some. I'm trying to I'm trying to jog my memory. It's been so long since I played Jet on this map. Let's see. Oh, okay. If you have a Sage pre-round, you get Sage to wall you here. So I'm going to use a third updraft for that. But then you can peek ramps right there that one's good that one's good you can actually do the same thing with a sage wall here and rafters hmm. true there is an unbreakable cypher cam if he puts it behind the glass here. right here screens he can't tag anybody with it but the cam gets this view and you can see the cross and they can't break the cam I'm not sure if it's good. I have no idea if it's good or not. Yeah, Darshan got signed to a pro league team, unfortunately. Is what it is. Let's see. I don't have my split tech. That's like my split tech in a nutshell. Oh. That's a pretty straightforward map. Open TP on a B site. Yeah, but then you're getting borderline like strategy. That's not tech. Tech is like something people didn't know was possible. Omen clicking alt here. here is a, you know, Omen can do that, you know? But Jet manually floating onto screens, you didn't know that was possible. That's what I consider tech. Tech is when you go, what? You can do that? Or what? That's an angle? That's tech. So, I don't think I've got any more. Yeah, but that's not tech, Dallas, because everyone knows you can use home and TPs like that. It's a cool usage of it. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, the last piece of tech um, is you can actually make this jump if you're really good at the game. That's actually makeable. I'm not joking. I, I really suck at it. My God. You have to like do a perfect bunny hop. Let me just try jumping straight. Nah, I almost floated too. I think you have to be hop it with an air strafe. Man, that's so hard. Yeah, I, I can't hit this jump. I'm not I'm not a jumper. I don't possess jumping skills. <laughs> Alright, chat. It's been lit. I'll be playing ranked in an hour and a half or so. I'm sending you to dope by daycare. I appreciate every single one of you. YouTube video coming out in a bit. Have a nice day. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the support. Thanks for watching. Peace out.